morning all everyone and happy Thanksgiving almost just want to go over some craft instructions for you for the yes bit a turkey craft I know you did one last week but this is a little different it's a 3d paper turkey I'll go over what you'll need to do with all the materials that are in your kit your kit will contain some paper in various different colors you've got some larger sheets and then you've got some smaller sheets um, the brown and you should um, have these various colors that are going to be the feathers the brown will be for your body and you'll also have some scraps of red and yellow that you'll use to make your beak your gobbler and your feet so what you're going to do to make your little feathers is to hold your papers, the colored papers, all together this way. Okay, um, just get them so that the edges are all even. And what you're going to need is a ruler, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a stapler. Okay, in your kit you'll also find that you have two little eyeballs that you will use to um, put on your turkey. And there's also a clothespin. And this is just going to be used as a tool to hold your feathers as you go along. What you're going to do is make five sets of these little loopy feathers. And to make each one, what you'll do is, like I said, take your paper, put it all together so that the edges are even. Take your ruler and just go by the width and put it the long way and draw a line. Just, by, just um, from top to bottom um, and just use the width of the ruler. Okay. You will do that five times so that you have five different um, lines on here. And you will cut five sets of strips. This is you've got all of the, the colored paper here. So take one set of strips and what you're going to do is pull them all together and then stagger each one so that they're about an inch apart. And I'll show you how that will look. This is how you're going to make your little loopy feathers. So they will end up looking like this, so that they're all about an inch apart. Then what you will do is take that set of strips and loop it over so that, whoops, the first thing you want to do is kind of um, do them one at a time. It's the easiest way to do it. Take your red one, bring it down to meet the other red one and then what you'll do is take your orange and bring that down so that it meets the edge of the other orange one on the opposite side then take your tan do the same and then your yellow so that it looks like this and what you will do is cut it so that they are all the same length. So cut it right where the end of the yellow one is here, or whatever the shortest one is in your batch. Okay, so you've got these loopy feathers here. And then you will take your stapler and staple that together at the bottom. Just like that. So you're going to make five of these. Okay, and what you're going to do is with your clothespin, hold them all together so that you'll end up with all five together. And that's just going to hold them so that they're all staying up straight. And once you have all five, you can take them apart and staple them all. So your clothespin will be holding them before you get a chance to staple them all together. So you'll have them like that. Then you'll want to take the clothespin off, holding them together, and staple the big batch together like that. After you've done that, you'll want to make your turkey body out of your little piece of tan paper. Then you can take some scraps of your red and your yellow that you had left over from the feathers and make the beak, the gobbler, and the feet. Paste it all together, use some glue or glue stick, um, and put it together. Then put your little eyeballs on, and you'll have yourself a cute little gobbler. You can either stand this up somewhere or hang it from a string and then it will just get you right into the Thanksgiving mood. Like I said, I know you did turkeys last week too, so 
you know, of course, we can never get enough turkey this time of the year. So, uh, you can go ahead and get ready for the big holiday. And I hope you have fun doing this. It's just a little colorful, creative, fun little activity that you might want to do to get into the spirit of Thanksgiving. Speaking of, hope you all have a great holiday. Tune in next week or we'll be doing something else. Um, soon we'll be getting um, some Christmas crafts together, and I hope you'll be looking forward to that. So, again, tune in next time. In the meantime, if you want to come into the library and browse, we are open. Just very specific hours, so be sure to check our website um, so that you know when we are open. Until then, gobble gobble. Bye-bye now.